Hi, my name is Ronnie Datta and you're watching House of Defense. Yesterday, India successfully test-fired the land attack version of BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. Featuring indigenous components such as propulsion system and airframe from a base at Chandipur in Orissa's Balasore district. So what is the BrahMos? The BrahMos is a medium-range ramjet supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarine, ships, aircraft or land. It is the fastest supersonic cruise missile in the world. The BrahMos has been developed as a joint venture between Defence Research and Development Organisation or DRDO of India and NPOM of Russia as BrahMos Aerospace via an inter-government agreement that was signed by former President APJ Abdul Kalam on 12 February 1998. The missile is named after two rivers, the Brahmaputra in India and the Moskva in Russia. BrahMos was first test fired on 12 June 2001 from the integrated test range Chandipur in a vertical launch configuration. On 14 June 2004, another test was conducted at ITR and BrahMos was fired from a mobile launcher. And on 5th March 2008, the land attack version of the missile was fired from the destroyer INS Rajput and the missile hit and destroyed the right target among a group of targets. The 5th September 2010 test of BrahMos created a world record for being the first cruise missile to be tested at supersonic speeds in a steep dive mode. BrahMos became the only supersonic cruise missile possessing advanced capability of selection of a particular land target amongst a group of targets, providing an edge to the user with precise hit. The submarine launched variant of BrahMos was test fired successfully for the first time from a submerged pontoon near Vishakhapatnam at the coast of Bay of Bengal on 20th March 2013. This was the first vertical launch of a supersonic missile from a submerged platform. The BrahMos A is a modified air-launched variant of the missile with a range of 400 km which can be launched from a Sukhoi Su-30 MKI as a standoff weapon. And finally, on 22nd November 2017, the missile was successfully test-fired for the first time from a 30 MKI against a sea-based target in the Bay of Bengal. BrahMos has the capability of attacking surface targets by flying as low as 5 meters in altitude and the maximum altitude it can fly is 14,000 meters. It has a diameter of 70 centimeters and a wingspan of 1.7 meters. It can gain a speed of Mach 2.8 and has a maximum range of 290 kilometers. The ship-launched and land-based missiles can carry a 200 kg warhead whereas the aircraft-launched variant or BrahMos A can carry a 300 kg warhead. It has a two-stage propulsion system with a solid propellant rocket for initial acceleration and a liquid-fuel ramjet responsible for sustained supersonic cruise. Although BrahMos was primarily an anti-ship missile, the BrahMos Block 3 can also engage land-based targets. It can be launched either in a vertical or inclined position and is capable of covering targets over a 360-degree horizon. The BrahMos missile has an identical configuration for land, sea and subsea platforms. The air-launched version has a smaller booster and additional tail fins for added stability during launch. So what's next for the BrahMos? India and Russia intend to make 2,000 BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles over the next 10 years through their joint venture company. And nearly 50% of them are expected to be exported to friendly countries. I hope you liked this video about the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile and if you did, please share it with your friends and family, subscribe to My Nation and House of Defense.